across is Horn Island. The sun is just rising. Beautiful. I wanted to capture the kayakers. Beautiful. Yesterday I asked Paul, let's go kayaking, as a joke, because of the crocodiles, and he said, hell no. Back to Paul. hear the beautiful sounds are birds, but they're not so beautiful when they poop on our boat. Oh, I actually start to work up sweat, finally! That camera too. Horn Island over there, Thursday Island over there, Christine here, any excuse for a massage? Without a massage table, I tell you. I don't think it's in there, it's just lazy. Yep. Mm. 
Let me can move to the plant thing. Look at the beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset over... Well, that's not Thursday Island, but next to Thursday Island. It's absolutely gorgeous. We'll wait until it comes down. It's beautiful. It's orange, rose, red, yellow, purple, just mixed. Gonna watch. Oh, it's coming down. One thing about this camera, it doesn't zoom while I'm filming. Not like my stylist, which I love. <gasps> Ew. Beautiful. It's big. There's the zooming. Beautiful. Bright. It's hazy coming down. The color is intense. Mix of orange and red. The color is intense red and orange. You can't see it through the lens. Going down. Such a beautiful, active day full of errands and chores for us. Post office, book exchange, but they didn't have an exchange of books, they only sold used books. Propane, supermarket, a hobo lunch again, sardines and raisin bread. Paul got to go to the hospital to check for malaria tablets, but they get the anti-malaria, which we're not going to take. So we're probably not going to buy it. Um, Lots of stuff. And Paul bought a guitar tuner, even though both of us don't play guitar. There it goes, the tip. The tip. Bye bye. Sunlight. There it goes. Red. It's more red than orange. It's Thanksgiving's day for Christine today. Any excuse for me to cook up a good good meal. This time, real simple one. Um, pork chops, uh, pork cutlets or whatever, not cutlets. Um, anyway, they're, they're clean. They've got no fatty bits on it. Mashed potato. You can hardly see the button mushrooms in there. Corn. Um, oodles of gravy, as I love it, as you know. So, and of course, like usual, glass of wine. So, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Which, do people know where that came from? Tell us, Christine. It's when the pilgrims came to America and they were starving and freezing and the Indians um, gave them food and they had a great Thanksgiving together. This is before the Americans slaughtered millions of Native Americans. This is the thanks the, the Indians get. <laughs> so at least once a year they get recognised for their gen the generosity. <laughs> so I'll say thanks to their generosity, not that I'm American. Go. Restore a discreet hair colouring. And it's, it's not really a colouring, I, think, I believe it actually helps your hair pigments begin to produce or reproduce your natural colouring. The 
back of Paul's hair. I just cut it yesterday. The weird haircut. Okay, turn around. Mm. See? He has a lot. Like, he's fully gray. Okay. Oh, I was really silver beforehand. But I got on to restore a discreet. It's a cream. You can get it in a liquid solution as well, but cream I find better. Um, yeah, I, I've used it now for a while, but when you use it on a regular basis, it really works. Your hair gets its own natural colour coming back. Um, couldn't speak more highly of it. I was totally silver, and I haven't used this. I'm only just starting to get back into it. Okay, come closer. We're doing a um, test. So I cut his hair yesterday. Yes. Yeah. It's patchy. So you'll see, um, turn around again. And uh, um, we'll do this every day. Do you put it on one or two times a day? Once a day, and it needs a little bit of sunlight to sort of help it happen, I guess. We'll do a retake every week, I think. Heading off from Thursday Island, our last port in Australia. So bye-bye Australia, we're heading towards the Torres Strait Passage to Indonesia. Our water bladders are still outside, and yeah, we're still somewhat of a mess, as you can tell. Not the most tidy. Hopefully we're doing it um, on the passage. We're just disorganized, or some cast of wine. So things are looking up, and I cleared the table. So that looks good. And we're underway, Paul. G'day, heading for you know, potentially eight or nine days at sea. Um, <laughs> exciting, but we've got some real calm wind in three days and next to no wind, really. I'll be putting your sea anchor in and going by current more than anything. Wow! <laughs> we're setting sail. Bye bye, Australia. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm, that's why I'm fucking... As Paul is studying the film and trimming... Bye-bye, Thursday Island. For me and Paul, it's bye-bye, Australia. We're heading out. The sun is setting. It's set over the horizon, but um, just over those mountains. We decided to go early because the wind is just stopping. Um, really shitty, no wind actually, and then on the nose. The start of our journey to Indonesia. Sailing vessel Tak. So, a year of living in Australia on sailing vessel Tak, we're finally doing an open passage. So I'm really excited. Um, so on to the next country, Indonesia. Wow, we're going 7.2 knots. So it's a good thing we left early. Um, the winds will go down to practically five knots. The wrong direction, of course. So we're heading out Thursday Island through the Torres Strait. Yeah, so we're, we're off. Um, first private ocean passage. Exciting. A little bit of concern, but we're pretty well prepared. Um, Louder, please! Eight days to nine days at sea, but it's going to be really calm. We're almost going to throw a sea anchor and get dragged by the currents more than the wind. So, we'll see how um, two days turns up, because on Friday the wind will turn on our nose at three to five knots. Seven knots. I'm square on starboard reach. Heading towards Cairns. Previously it was a 36 hour journey, it now looks like it's going to be less than um, 24 hours. That can change as the wind changes. The forecast is good for the night. So it just looks wonderful watching the the hull rip through the water free of charge. Compliments of Mother Nature. She can be nice to you when she wants to. And then 
obviously rip you apart other times. All trimmed nicely, looking good, I'm happy with that. Average 6.3 up and down on the waves, of course. Don't know how much sound comes through this casing, but it, the water lo it sounds lovely. That'll do. Good luck! Can I balance? Can I balance a little? Only six foot deep. <laughs> Can't see much any as murky as ever.
in the line.